Good morning, everyone. Miss Judy here with this week's craft. I'm pretty excited about this, and I hope that you'll like it. Um, I wonder if you've heard of Dale Chihuly. He's a very famous glass artist. He lives in Washington State, Seattle, and he has a, um, a glass studio there. He's been working with glass for years and years. So he takes colored glass and uses um, a very hot instrument to blow that glass into different shapes and sizes. And I've got a couple pictures of some of his work. This is one, this is an outside installation. And um, some of these pieces are, are as large as a, a large person. He's pretty incredible. Another one I have is this, and this is part of a ceiling in a building in Las Vegas. So there's hundreds and hundreds of pieces and it's brightly colored and he just does beautiful work. You can Google him and see some of the other things that he does. So we are going to mimic his work, but obviously we don't have the tools that he has. So we're going to make a little sun catcher, something you can hang in your garden. And when the light shines on it, it is very, very pretty. It sparkles. And I also like this project because we will be recycling bottles. So I've got some water bottles here, and that's what I'm using for my flowers. This one I've already cut, but I'm going to show you the process. So we'll move this down here. I'm going to work on a white piece of paper. So this one I already have cut. These two I need to cut the bottom off. I'm going to trim this up a little bit just to make some petals. Now these bottles are not real thick plastic, which makes it easier to work with. There are some that are thicker and you want to avoid those if you can because you run the risk of maybe cutting yourself. Um, in fact, it might not be a bad idea to have an adult do this part of the project for you. So I've cut it down. I've got all these nice little curved lines. Now I'm just going to cut some triangles to make this into more of a flower shape. You can do these sort of randomly around it. And then I'll show you how to cut into one of these bottles, starting from scratch. But that's good for that. Um, take your bottle, make sure it's empty. And I just kind of squish this together. And be a little bit careful with this. My scissors are pretty sharp. And just I need to make a little hole. And then just start cutting. And there you have that part of it all done. And you do the same with this one, cutting yourself some petals. I would use three, but I'm going to demonstrate this with two. I want to show you um, how I colored these in. So I used a variety of different colors of Sharpie markers. Sharpies are great for this because they're transparent, so you see the color, but you also see through when the sun when the sun shines on these, you'll also get a, a nice sparkly effect. So I'm just going to start, and I used, well, I used about two different colors on each of these pieces, and this is really simple and kind of enjoyable too. So you just start coloring it in. Um, do all your little petals. You have to work in between these lines. I'm going to leave some of these lines uncolored because I'm going to take a darker shade and finish them off with that so I have some contrast. You probably want to be a little bit more careful than I'm being here. Take your time. But you can kind of start to see it coming together. Do it on the inside, not on the outside. And then I think I'll go with maybe a darker 
always remember to put the cat back on your marker so they don't dry out. For the center, I'm going to use some black. And then I'm going to take some of this violet and do some lines in between. Like I said, you'll want to go a little bit slower, a little bit neater. And then you can take your marker and go around these edges. I like to use a lot of different colors and colors that go together for each flower. So I like the purple and the red together. Oh, you might want to throw in a, a blue flower. I've got a yellow one. Do a, a nice variety of colors. It'll be a prettier end project. And then I would just continue on. If you want a little more contrast, you can take maybe some more black. Add some little lines in here. But you get the idea. So I would do three or five. When I'm doing art projects, I usually like to work in odd numbers um, that sometimes will give your piece more balance than twos, fours, sixes. It's just kind of one of those, those um, rules that we go by. A lot of times in garden planting, it's the same thing. You want to put three plants together in a nice arrangement, not four or two. Oh, I've still got a little water in this bottle. Okay, so once I get my pieces all finished and how I like them, I'll set those aside. And I'll just show you, this is getting a little bit tangled, but I took some fishing line. And I punched little holes with my scissors right there and then I just started threading these through. I also made some leaves from the side of a bottle and I just threaded them on in the arrangement that I like. And there you go. It's very pretty hanging in the window. It'll be pretty hanging outside in your garden and these markers are waterproof so the color is not going to come off. I hope you have fun with this project. Um, Google Dale Chihuly and see what you think of him. He's a pretty amazing guy. I think you'll enjoy it. Thanks again for being with me today. I hope you have an awesome day and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.